everybody. We're out here at Five County Stadium in Zebulon, and I'm here today with Jake Sanko, uh, right before a Carolina Mudcats game. This is my uh, second year down here, uh, my third year overall in the Cleveland Indians organization. How important would you say conditioning is, you know, to, to their game, and not, not just the training of baseball, but conditioning their bodies? Uh, it's, it's, it's very important. Um, I think you can see, if you look at the trends in, uh, in professional baseball, um, now is really the first time that we've had uh, strength and conditioning coaches at um, just about every level, um, all the way throughout the minor leagues and into the big leagues. Um, so that can show you right there how important it is. Our guys are playing 140 games, so you can imagine um, the grind and the, and the toll that that takes on their bodies. Um, also from an injury prevention standpoint, um, Obviously, it, it plays a huge role um, being physically prepared um, every single day when you come out for batting practice, when you come out for games, um, you have to be physically prepared or your chances of injury are, are going to be uh, much higher than, than, than what they would be. In our office, of course, we, we treat a lot of injuries and, and you know, that's one of the things we we'll see. Sometimes we'll see patterns uh, that develop, you know, from, say, a pitcher versus um, uh, an outfielder and things like that. And once we get these patients well, we a lot of times we'll develop and, and get them on specific programs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, from a, a weightlifting standpoint, um, pretty much all baseball players are going to be very, uh, very similar um, the way we train them weightlifting wise. Um, but from a conditioning standpoint, it's very different. Obviously, pitchers um, are asked to do a lot different um, type of stuff on the field than position players are. Um, so we definitely conditioning-wise train them much different. But from a weightlifting standpoint, um, you can really train pos uh, position players, pitchers, um, regardless. Uh, you can really tra train them pretty similar. In our office, we, we deal with a lot of youth athletes. Okay, and a question I get a lot asked a lot. Uh, comes from you know when they should start training um, you know even uh, some mistakes I've seen is where you know you have these youth uh, baseball players trying to look at uh, a professional baseball players training schedule and trying to do that. The biggest thing uh, in, in my book for, for youth training um, would be just to develop overall athleticism. They need to play as many sports as they possibly can, be involved in as many things as they can. You know, if you're not going to play a fall sport, do some kind of training to prepare for your spring sport. You can't do the same thing that these guys are doing out here. Um, just from a maturity standpoint, um, the, it's it's just a completely different different ball game with, uh, with youth and with professional players or even college players. What kind of things would you tell them from the conditioning standpoint he should be focusing on when it comes to uh, Shoulder, preventing a shoulder injury. The muscles of the shoulder get so overworked with any type of throwing athlete. Um, so really our goal, what our goal is as strength and conditioning coaches, focusing on that area, um, is to create a balance between the front and the back sides of the shoulder and really just as a strength in that area. Doing any kind of weightlifting for any type of pressing movement, make sure you're doing a pulling movement as well. Um, that's going to help balance that out. You see guys all the time, they'll get their shoulders uh, pushed forward from doing too much pressing and that really can lead to a, a lot of shoulder injuries in, in any type of throwing athlete. I think a lot of uh, a band work is good, which, which we do with a lot of our guys. Um, you can do any kind of band work, any kind of light dumbbell work with the shoulder, I think is good to strengthen that area and, and really help prevent those, those overuse type injuries that happen in the shoulder. Awesome, thanks Jake. That was awesome, we, we really appreciate you coming out. Thanks everybody for joining us today and we'll see you soon with some more great tips from Vardy HPC. I've come to know Dr. Vardy um, over this past season and he's done a lot of work with our guys, um, done a lot of good work for them, uh, some things that have helped them out. Um, I know over at, at his facility um, he has good programs for, for youth athletes and for any type of athletes um, and I know, I know the things that he does over there will help help put those athletes in a good spot, um, whether that's you know, sports-specific training, age-specific training, um, you know, injury prevention, um, performance enhancement. Um, I know the stuff he has over there um, is going to put any type of athlete uh, in a good place.